in essence, mm -hmm. was told that certain words, yes. certain concepts, like democracy and freedom, had to be controlled. Those words had to be blocked. Did you see what was coming up and you realized it was better to be in entertainment and money making rather than in information sharing? Well, I think, you know, China does have uh, some of the restrictions, but it's a very, in, very limited area. The areas include, if, you know, you, you're against the government, you're against, you know, some of the so country, country's policy kind of things. Yes, it is restricted. And uh, as long as you're not touching into that kind of space, basically you're free. And well, not, how, how do you feel about that? Well, we feel very good. You know, we, I think, as you know, companies like us and also, you know, the other entrepreneurs, even in the media, I think they are, you know, feeling a lot of good compared to the past. At least, you know, we, we do see a lot, a lot of improvement over the last few years. And I think that kind of trend will continue. To. If I quote to you, um, Vincent Brossel of, of a group called Reporters Without Borders, he says this, the Chinese model for the Internet sees it as a tool for economic development, networking, marketing, business, and propaganda, the things you've mentioned, but not, he says, for free expression. China, he says, has spent many, many millions of dollars to build firewalls, cyber police, and cyber censors. Well, I disagree with that comment, because the reason is that, you know, if you look at today's Internet, uh, for example, you know, the, the blog, Everybody express his or her own opinions over the internet. You have you've seen millions of millions of bloggers over the internet, and I don't see any of the, the monitoring or the block from the but government. But Mr. Tang, that, that 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 plainly cannot be true. We've already discussed the case of Microsoft, which had to accept uh, reservations and restrictions on its MySpaces system. But we also know that there is what's called this Great Firewall of China. And if certain things, for example, I tried it in my hotel, if certain things are searched for here in China, if you put in BBC or Amnesty International or Tiananmen Square or Tibet, these things are all blocked. Well, these things, some of them are blocked, but, you know, it's a, according to the Chinese policy, this kind of thing shouldn't be discussed or be you know, publicly discussed over the internet. So that, you just told me there was complete freedom. Yeah, I, I, I'm talking about the freedom is based on the freedom under the Chinese regulations. You know, well, if you're not only touching into that kind of very sensitive political stuff, you're fine. And I don't, I don't suggest generally you know, the normal people need to really talk about this kind of political stuff. Well, let me ask you this, because you were the most senior Chinese employee in Microsoft. You ran their operations here. How do you feel about companies, not just Microsoft, but Google and Yahoo as well, voluntarily accepting the regulations and restrictions that we've just discussed? Do you think they were right to do that? I think that's a smart way, you know, because if you do not accept kind of rules, basically you cannot have your own operation in China. And uh, this is a, a company, a company is a commercial company. When you talk about commercial company, I think it's uh, making money is uh, probably the biggest you know, things for a commercial company. So if you want to operate in China, you have to follow the Chinese rule and the regulations. Making so, money more important than principle. Uh, well, I think you know, the principle is to follow the Chinese government's rule. I think that's the principle. Yahoo actually gave the Chinese government information, confidential information about a couple of users and their uh, writings on blogs which allowed the government to trace them and eventually to convict them of anti-state activities. Was that right for well, Yahoo? Uh, I think you know, if someone did illegal things in China, I well, think it was... Well, specifically, it was one journalist leaked a document, an internal Communist Party document. He then faced years of imprisonment when Yahoo handed over his personal computer information. Was Yahoo right to do that? Well, I think, you know, if the person did something wrong and then was convicted, I think we, we have no things to argue about that. If you can, you know, do something illegal and be convicted, it's a, it's a good thing, you know.
And you think it's right that, that handing over a document or leaking a document well, should be regarded as a criminal offence if done on the internet? If a country has kind of a regulation, have kind of you know the the law, then we have to follow the law. That's you know basic people's thinking. You know, I don't think that's something anything wrong because as long as the law passed by you know by the people, then that's the law. We you have to follow that.